are at the Wright Brothers Memorial. We're going way up there to see that monument. And evidently they're having a kite flying contest. Big Hill, Devil Hill, when the Wright brothers were here in front of the hill was a massive sand dune. Oh wow. Climbing the hill was strenuous, deep soft sand caused every step up the slope to be slippery part way back down. And that's where we're going, way up there. I can see this hill being very difficult to climb in this when it didn't have grass on it. <laughs> been taking an airplane up here too. Oh my God. So this was the airstrip? Yeah, apparently. Hmm. This is quite a hill. <laughs> I gotta stop <laughs> so I can film the hill. It doesn't do it justice. <laughs> Look how pretty it is up here. I am short winded. Do what? I'm short winded. That's a long way. Going straight uphill. That is huge. Really this is cool. the front end of the monument. So pretty. I did. And then there's the airplanes down there. We're going to go down there in a minute too. But here's Orville. And there is Wilbur. So what they did is they brought the airplane all the way from down there, all the way up this hill. And this is where they, the area that they flew it from. But this was all sand, and they did it. There's the plane. There's another view from down here. We're half, not even halfway down yet. It was on a rail. So this was the end of the first flight. It took 12 seconds, 120 feet on December the 17th of 1903. This is the end of the second flight. It took 12 seconds, 175 feet on December 1903. This was the end of the third flight, 15 seconds, 200 feet on the same day. So to give you some perspective, of the last and final flight that they took is way down there and there's three two and one and then there's the monument way up there and then those two buildings are where they would have worked on the planes and that kind of thing it's kind of like their workshop i guess Woo. We made it to the last one. This is the end of the fourth flight. Time 59 seconds, 852 feet on the same day. So let's put it in perspective here. There you go. We're going to get over 2,000 steps in today. Okay.
Okay. So this was a commemoration. And that is what it looked like. <sighs> this was the first So I guess their beds would have been up there. The loss. It lives here. Wow. Yeah. That's pretty cool. I guess the distance they had to travel in 1901, 2, and 3 was not easy, for sure. The four powered flights. The lift off all the way down there. It took a total of 59 seconds. Now we're going to walk into the museum. See what it's all about. Wind and sand, isolation. We came down here for wind and sand and we have got them. <laughs> that's cool. So that's how they would have flown. Look at that. They would have flown on their bellies. Yeah. See, this is their, this is the non-powered flights. They had to use that hill to do that. That's insane. He taught us to fly. Look at that, the 1901, the 1902, 1903, or 1911, 1911. sorry. All right, I'm going to go in here. Ooh, nice and cool in here. It was nice of them to allow us to film in here. Susan Wright at the age of 45 and Milton at the age of 43. So like a bird, spread your arms out. I guess I'll have to do that. <laughs> Look at all the tools that they used. Oh my goodness, my mother has one of these. Here's the place that we were at just a minute ago, that building.
look at that. I'm surprised it just didn't obliterate. Huh? I'm surprised it didn't just obliterate when it hit. Well, what's so weird is just that they have the the elevators in the front, the rudder in the rear, and now planes are totally oh, the look, rudder you and the take elevator. A picture. In yeah, that's pretty cool. That's cool. You can see the actual monument way out there. Kevin's going to take a photo with the camera. This is the 1901 glider. The one before was the 1902. This is the 1900. Seventeen feet long, 165 square feet, weighed 52 pounds. Holy cow. This one was the 1899 right at a glance. Did you see that? How much their gliders changed? Mm-hmm. They're having a huge little, huge little, a little event out here. Those tents are for the kids. They can take a little booklet around and learn some history about the Wright brothers and they have to fill in the blanks and stuff then they bring it back and get a prize. Where's this at? Right there at that table. Oh, cool. I was talking to one of the parents in there about it. It's really cool. It's a little bit of a breeze, but not a lot, so I don't know that they're going to even be able to take off. They wait till that front gets here in a little bit, they'll be able to fly over. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> we are in Kitty Hawk, in case anybody wants to know, North Carolina. So this tells about the sculptor was Stephen H. Smith dedicated it due to its first flight in 2003. So he would have laid on his belly just like that. This is amazing. It really is. Wow, look at the view from back here.
That is crazy. So it tells you all the friends that were here that did the first flight. So neat.